This is Dark Side Gaming, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hearts of Iron 4. Now, I know I haven't really been, been keeping up, and that's because of a busy schedule, because, of course, school has just started. But we will be going right back into Hearts of Iron 4, and we're going to be starting a new campaign. As the Glorious Soviet Union. Okay. Actually, I was thinking of doing a Soviet Union, but... I'm leaning towards more a Czech, a Czechoslovakia. Keep it on crew, historical Iron Man mode. All right, show we, ladies and gentlemen. As a, uh, I'm a Czechoslovakia one. Now, I'm not gonna say that I did not like the new DLC, Death or Dishonor, but. They could have done a lot more with it, you know, they could have given a lot more choice countries. Like, I'm glad that Hungary and Romania finally have a tree, you know, especially when it comes to multiplayer, you know, it makes it kind of better because, you know, if you play Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer, then you know Hungary is the plain bitch. I'm just going to go out and say it, they are the plain bitch because they can get fighter, fighter threes before the war even starts, so that's always good. Now, you always want to get rid of your... Cav versions. All right, yeah, dismantle that. Research. I always like to get the main ones first. Now I've never played the with the Czech focus tree. Um, never have. So how many factories do you have? We have about eight. So uh, what I'm gonna do for is. The factory, factories, and kind of have a balanced approach to it, sort of. Yeah, there we go. Balanced approach, approach to it. Um, well, we do need artillery, but we're gonna put two factories on that. The rest either on guns. Actually, oh, never mind. We can actually evenly put it out. So there we go. No, 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 focus is okay. Now, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm, I'm feeling fascist today, so I do believe we're going to go fascist. Strategic decisions. German appeasement deliver these to Dateland. Huh, German public. I don't want to be... I don't, like... <laughs> become a human bonuses? Ooh. Yeah. Let's become a German ally instead. I think that would be good. Hmm. If you go communist, and of course, I think you know what? We're gonna go Entente of our own, fight Romania. So we're gonna we're gonna stay democratic. You know, we're gonna hold to the democratic ideals, which is probably gonna end up getting us killed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is gonna end up getting us killed. Well, let's go ahead and put them on a border. Start out on four speed and let that run. Try to get my mouse to a comfortable position. <laughs> now let's see. Well, what is our starting division to play? Yeah, I'm actually gonna XP this real quick. What is our starting division template? It is. We're going to be adding some artillery. Add some support companies. Do we have more multiple ones? We have a light tank division, but that's mostly light tank and cav. What, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to end up making, not too beefy, but just beefy enough to be able to fight and hold against German, German tanks. So probably 20 width or 35 width divisions. Or 25 with, um, that's including the um, RDM, a couple more divisions, also the support equipment. Um, okay, we, have, we do have planes, so. Alright. Let's bump that up.
Let's let that run for a while until we can at least get past the first one. Now, my plan, of course, is going to be to, of course, like I said, Romania, Poland, if I can get Poland and, and Czech, and you go, and that would be nice, because then we would literally be a little entente. I do, don't believe uh, Poland's able to. Invite Romania, Pact uh, Yugoslavia, invite Romania. Hmm. One would think that you'd be able to invite Poland, because Poland's literally just right there. But apparently not. Trust in the West. I am not going to trust in the rest. I'm not going to trust in, in, in the West. I don't trust the West. I'm hoping Romania, of course, does join. Yep, and Hitler is already doing the remilitarizing of the right room. Of course, AI. Gotta get that world tension up, right? <laughs> um, faction of our own. I do know that because I've done it. Um, that you can do five focuses each year. So, Germany normally does his Czech focus 1938. So I'll be able to do 10, 11 focuses before then. So, let's see. Political direction, trust in the West, German appeasement. Oh, also, sorry if there's no music, I forgot. I normally have to turn down the music, but we can turn it up some. There we go. There's that good paradox music. Okay, where were we? We were picking a new national focus. Political direction, democratic bastion, beacon of liberty, defensive preparations. Okay, the Polish question. Now, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, can I still do the little entente and be fascist? I don't believe... Well, it doesn't really say it. So, hmm. This is this is interesting. I've never played the as the Czechs, so I don't really know their um, focus joint. i go down Czech industry. Gotta get those military up. Oh, wow. I like that. I like that. Oh, I, I definitely like that. Oh, I definitely do like that. Fortif fortifications, the Polish line, basically make checks f freaking just unbreakable, you know, unbreakable. Access to the sea. Military Institute. Ooh. Wow, holy crap. I can literally. Wow. That's pretty nice. Mountain troops. Well, I mean, it's. I'm not gonna go overly berserk, but I am gonna say though that is pretty, pretty good because you could save that one focus, get into 1942, and just go ahead and get the um, last one. I do believe. Uh, hold up, let's look here real quick. Um. Yeah, you could go ahead and get that and just get that soft attack, or you could go ahead and get that, which I don't know if that truly makes any difference. You're, or you could, of course, get this, which gives you the hard piercing and everything. I do know that it would be nice to have... <laughs> if I was able to get that, that would be amazing, because then I could put those inside my divisions. But they would be costly to make, of course. Costly to make. The air is our sea. Doesn't Poland have a focus just like that? I, can, I could have swore that Poland has a focus just like that. Trust in the West, entente of our own. This is. Of course, we're gonna go down political direction first. No, second. Alright. Terror. Hmm. Kermit's general. Back, back, backstabber. Political power again. We can go ahead and get that. Small boost to look power. Now I do especially like how, of course, you know the Hungarian, like as I said, the Hungarian and Romanian focus tree. But I would not say death or dishonor was a big sell or a big win in my book. But people, people do like it, so I guess their goal was achieved. 
And I guess they did make a lot of money. <laughs> or with people who would buy it. I was kind of coerced in the buying list but by a friend. Alright, let's go ahead and get engineer companies. Because I'm going to start beefing up these divisions soon. I'm so bummed out how, like, you're not able to, to invite Poland into the faction because. Well, I mean, when Poland joins the war against Germany, if Germany still d does it, which knowing the AI, of course, they will, then we will. it will be four nations against Germany, and I think we'll have a good chance. Because we're going to try to do a world domination type trick here. <laughs> I am missing some um, resources. Well, but not that much, and I really don't have the factories in which to use at the very moment, so I'll just deal with... Okay, for local direction. Hurrah. Alright. Go right. Check faster, isn't it? Grist of Wars. The Polish question. Okay, next. I don't, I don't know who would go down this tree right here, because that would make you into a puppet, I do believe. Or Death of Dishonor. Dishonor before death. Let's see, do they have one right here? Communism with a human face. Oh. I don't know, I'm feeling mighty communist now. No, no, I said we were going to stick as a democratic bastion. That's what we're, what we're gonna do. We're gonna be the Democratic Bastion in the dark. But we're gonna go ahead and go down Industrial Legacy. Just get a certain boost, certain things. We're gonna save up our political power for now. Unless under group logistics. Hmm, okay. I don't know that I'm gonna be packing on. Um, Mountaineers into my divisions, mostly just because, come on, it's mountains all right here. That's a slaughter. Except this province, I do believe, yeah, these two provinces right here are not mountains. I think it's provinces all right here. That would be the, well, uh, actually, no, never mind. Very few of them are mountain provinces, but still, hills, um, yeah, I do believe mountaineers get a buff inside of mountains and hills, for example. Mountaineers. Yeah, see hills, defense, attack. Yeah, so. Put a couple of those in there, give them that boost. Hmm. I don't know. Ah! Let me see, if we're going to be defending, I don't know about mass assault, but superior manpower is precious, bullets are cheap. Delay organization, out of supply, entrenchment. I feel like I'm going to wait until I get the buff for that. Military police. We're going to go ahead and get the look. You know what? Hmm. Trying to think, what do we need at the very moment? Let's go ahead and just get the construction one. Just to boost up the construction time up by a little bit. But I am trying to think, what can we do? Because hmm. I knew, because I, I do know that when the war starts, Germany's already going to take an Onslaught as their focus. And Romania, you go, is going to be on my side, so. I mean, of course, against a German, against the AI inside Hearts of Iron, it's really easy to dupe and beat the AI just because the AI doesn't really try to do much in ways of strategics. Because they'll, they will literally stack 20 men on one province, 
while the rest have one and just use those 20 to attack and you'll just blow right through the other provinces because they have just one guy. Ugh. Sliced my finger today and I just touched it with the mouse. That did not feel good. Uh, but I do like the ideas for what they're doing with Hearts of Iron. I just read one of the dev diaries. They're going to be having Order of Battle. And they're also going to be having um, War Support, which is going to be up here along with something else. But the Order of Battle, um, I'm really going to like because it's going to make it more realistic because a Field Marshal didn't really command the troops himself. It was Field Marshal and the generals inside the fields. You know, just like how you you do at Eisenhower, he was the field marshal for the for the European theater, and so on and so forth, as like various other other theaters, and that's just what I like about it. Hmm. of Liberty. Ooh, division defense on core territory. Plus 200 political power. This is Czech industry. This is a, I thought that was military. Where's my military factories? Okay, never mind. I thought that was military, but that is not military. Balanced. You might go down the balance instead. I don't know. Okay, studies. I'm trying to think here. Uh, let's just go on top of our own for now. Let's just go ahead and get it created. <laughs> you know, scare the piss out of the Germans, because you know, because they totally can't beat me. Up, oh, up. Oh, there's a hiccup. Up. Oh, it's Spanish Civil War. Yeah, I was like, oh, don't tell me you froze. <laughs> Alright. Because the Spanish Civil War, Germany's gonna be inside that soon. Nice thing to start working on these now. Um artillery, let's add support artillery along with that. Recon. Too much? Yeah, that's too much. Remove, okay, there we go. I won't say I'm making it that much, am I? I'm making one a day. 20 guns a day, which is always good. Now what's really going to be interesting is the war with Russia. The war with Russia is always interesting because a lot can happen. One game I saw Russia, um, it was a single player game of course, not not multiplayer, but I saw Russia actually have the um, Civil War, and Trotsky was put in power. That was weird. <laughs> it was like, no, not Big Papa Stalin with this amazing beard, he's gone, no! I have no reason for existence anymore. <laughs> okay, modified government. I'm still gonna save up my political power. Because right now I see nothing really worth spending it on. Tank designer, yeah, I don't really see anything worth spending it on at their moment. At theorist. We can go ahead and get that military theorist on. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. We're gonna give it some time first, we're gonna build up power before we invite them in. Fallback line, turn on re rebounds, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna be coming up, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna have the Germans come at us with. We're gonna come at the Germans with level 10 forts all around. I know, I know it's crazy, Jim, but we gotta do it.
Yeah, we got we forgot those two. There we go. Just in case the um, Hungarians joined the Axis. What's you? Hold up. What have they gone down? Ah, uh, yeah, they went down to strength of fascists. I always love to see a um, AI hungry go down. Balanced budget. It's it's just so amazing. It just truly is. <laughs> you no, know, you don't really know what to feel when that happens. <laughs> you just don't know what to feel. Let's go ahead and just get into war, Kevin. Uh, Mom, we just need guns. I mean, we have guns here for us. Halfway to half of 17. 17,000? We now have 17,500. Commodify the government, the government again. Hmm, starts a terror. Just for the good research bonus that it can act, that this can give, because just a 10% bonus, but it's always good to have it though, sometimes. Especially when you're a small nation. We're, oh, we're not going to free trade? Wow. One would think that we would, we would have been on free trade, but nope. It's nice having that boost the build, the, ah, uh, the buildings and research. And we just got done with construction effort. One. Concentrated industry. Which we're just going to go ahead and go down those two again. I'm fighting with myself here, trying to think whether or not it would be a good idea to get fighters and build fighters. I don't know whether or not it's worth it or not, because I already, I'm not going to be able to make enough fighters to compete with Germany on the air war, but hmm, debating with myself on that one. All right, continue going. Alright, let's work on this division again. Defense, reconnaissance, movement. Adds defense. There's those good. Defense bonuses are alright. There we go. Alright, let's go. Really, I have no expect expectations of winning, only because I've seen other YouTubers play as Czech, as the Czechs, of course, and this is one province right here. Either one of these, these two provinces right here that they always seem to just get destroyed on, and the Germans just file in with tanks, infantry, and um, motorized. But I'm hoping that, of course, with my level 10 force, I'll be able to stop them where they stand. <laughs> Let's just go check industry. Let's get those extra factories. So what generals do we have? We have a um, class planner, offensive. I might use you so I can add some more width to my divisions. We have a panzer leader. That's kind of funny. Winter attrition. Uh, for now, we're going to keep you on um, max planning. Okay. Give you to Joseph. We're going to call this the um. <laughs> the wall of no garrison. We're just going to call this the wall of hell now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I've 
No, they've been facing training. Whew, that's the, the only problem I'm gonna be having is just manpower problems. That's gonna be the only thing. But that's only if Germany, of course, doesn't do his focus really early. That's right. Stay away from all this. Do all this. Don't do that. I've seen some players who who thought that giving the Sudetenland to Germany would would stop them, but nope. Giving it to them, they're just gonna go down with the rest of it and just slowly eat you. Actually, I think it's with one focus they can eat you. Yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, no. That's my own. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it is just one focus. I think it's called, um... What is it called? Hold on. It's the man. Oh, there's two focuses that they can take the uh, EU. I think the man, um, Slovakia? Ah, I went into my, just, ah, uh, tell me inside the comments below whether or not I'm right or wrong. Even though we just saw that there were two focuses that you can take. Not pretty bad to have that re reinforce right? Reinforce right. Okay, what else can we go down? Democratic Bastion, go right, go left. We already picked, but gotta get those civilian factories. Bump up with this. Beautiful. We also do have a yep construction fleet. Construction speed up 30 percent. Nice. Nothing like being able to not pronounce English, right? <laughs> I'm actually surprised I'm able to run 5 speed only because I found on 5 speed I crash a lot. Especially on 5 speed when I try to access the production and modify government tabs, which is actually surprising me. So. Equipment. Construction. All right, let's work on this template one more time. Recon company. Yeah, we said about 25 width. That's what we said. Uh, I think we can add one more infantry division to it. Yeah, we start these boys out. Them all trained up. The Wall of Hell, no. I like that name. <laughs> right. Concentrated industry, beautiful. I don't really kill down that. Ah, encourage a speed bonus. Hmm. I don't think that's worth it to really research on. Unless y'all know whether or not, inside of, just right now, inside the comments below, whether or not that is really worth taking. Because, in my opinion, it's not. Now, let's, let's go down next to the next station. Wow, I did not know that.
peak of liver to the bastion. So debating whether or not to go down. But I did say though we were gonna go down. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down that once the war starts so I can go ahead and get those bonuses. I think it's time. We can go for the last one of our industry. Oh no, oh the humanity. Oh, the humanity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. This is Dark Side Gaming, and we will be back tomorrow.